Hey everyone, I've got an amazing video for you guys today. I finally managed to beat Trials level 115 and it was an amazing battle. Uh, luckily, I got the battle report out of it. It's probably the best battle I had so far in Deck Heroes. Also, definitely the hardest one. Really challenging, even despite it's like a really high level uh, gameplay. Uh, it was an extremely, extremely close fight uh, with... Uh, like intense uh, stuff's happening like I, if I take one more hit like one small hit more I, I die and the battle also lasted quite long so I hope you guys enjoy this video I'll try to uh, talk along with it as well alright so let's go um, I hope by now you guys know um, what uh, the enemy hero and creatures runes have so if you don't know yet check my uh, previous video so I'm gonna skip that one at the start of the battle I decided to wait out with my creatures so I can drop my killer queen because killer queen deals quite amount of damage against those types of enemy creature and instantly I clone the night slayer that's exactly the clone I need because that card is like really really powerful uh, the onslaught is really powerful, although it only lasts for one turn. It negates uh, frost armor, uh, dodge, um, a block, magic shield, pretty much everything. So as you can see, um, the Kitsune has a rip, so once the Kitsune hits my creature, I can't heal them anymore. And the enemy has two of them as well. And my Oceanus is already down half health, just right from the get-go. Uh, as you saw, the Night Slayer did not go through the Kumiho's Frost Armor, because the Onslaught of Night Slayer only lasts one turn, so that's like a, a bit uh, wrong description or explanation, otherwise it'd be too imbalanced. So right off the get-go, I'm already in trouble, like the enemy has me outnumbered and everything. Uh, dropping my Mimir to take care of the Kitsune. My revive Fafni can't come yet. And here I thought it's gonna be pretty much over, right? I'm like 11,000 health left, barely any creature. Clap your hands if you believe. Like I'm still in deep trouble. I cannot drop my creatures because of the haste through level 10. Next turn I'm gonna drop 3 creatures and that was my last line of defense because I've only got like 5000 hero health already. Unfortunately my Anathema took down the Snow Harlot but luckily I cloned the Night Slayer so let's check out the Night Slayer, it's gonna like wreck them all. Booms! One hit, 3 creatures down. So thanks to cloning the Night Slayer, I actually won this fight in my opinion. Like most people who defeated this level or using Oceanus because of the Night Slayer is really really powerful and the battle's not gonna finish yet it's gonna, it's gonna be long you can see um, the enemy has quite some uh, offense defense power as well like I'm already in trouble again it only takes one turn and only takes one turn for him to like almost completely wipe off my team uh, my Oceanus got 3.9k health left so I'm about to like die here uh, uh, fortunately, uh, the enemy does not have Paragon, so I'm allowed to revive uh, whenever I want, so... Luckily, I cloned something good again, I cloned a Taurus. Like last time, I cloned a few Onaris, which was pretty bad. Uh, this level is still damn hard, but I even <laughs> defeated this one. Okay, now the annoying thing is gonna come, the Rift Kitsune. Kitsune's gonna attack 5 of my creatures, and none of them can heal anymore. Healing is useless. Even uh, uh, Lightfoot is useless, even with 100% evasion, Kitsune is dense, macabre, goes through. And the enemy has 2 of them. And the Kumiho revives Kitsune. It's just, I have 2 Paragons in my deck, it's just my creatures die so fast that I can't have... I, they don't stay long on the field enough. But as you can see on the last um, 
turn or was two turns ago. It just takes one turn for the enemy to wipe out like my whole team. And just one turn. And it's gonna happen real soon. On the next turn, the Oinari and the Night Slayer is gonna come. So I'm already in deep shit. With 3000 HP left. I, I was for, for certain I'm gonna lose here. Look, like, look at my creatures. About to die. Barely have any hero HP. 2000 hero HP left. My pit dragon and a is gonna go down from the rip. Kitsune's rip. Pit dragon's down. Anatem is down. Luckily, my level 6 haste rune made delay the Night Slayer's um, uh, presence on the field because the Night Slayer was about to come in two turns. Now it's four turns. So, definitely recommend you guys to invest into a haste rune. I don't have a five star haste rune, I'm using a four star haste rune. So, it's still decent. Uh, not as good as the five star, obviously. But, I gotta play what I have, right? So, the next turn is one of the most brutal turns. Night Slayer is gonna come and it's gonna wreck everything. That thing goes through snow, harlot, and whatever. Uh, you'll see it soon. So of his most strong screech is gonna come night slay and rich hunter and you can see my team should get wiped out immediately at least the right part look harlots or nari paragon all died in one shot night slayer boom rich hunter hits me 1000 health left on oceanus pretty much good game i guess I actually took a screenshot for my kill me to show how far I came but this and I still lost. <laughs> because I survived for 36 turns. That's like a lot. It's a lot. 36 turns in this level. Without hero healing. I cannot afford to put hero healing cards on my deck because every card I just need them. I need paragons, I need revives, I need everything. So now I need a bit luck, it's looking pretty good for me, the enemy is down to like 7 creatures And I need some luck that none of them will instantly directly attack my hero With something like a retreat or I don't know, something like that uh, But uh, at Trials 120 there's definitely like multiple paragons so that's why I couldn't beat Trials 120 uh, Very very hard much harder than this one in my opinion uh, It's just because this one doesn't have a parallel which makes things much easier uh, because I think I revived like more than 20 times or something So uh, Since the enemy has a snow harlot on the field. I cannot kill it So it means that means the only way for me to win this battle is to kill the enemy hero, right? I mean, that's not a problem, uh, because I, there's only a snow hard on the field, but take a look on the right side, it's already turn 40, and once you pass turn 50, you know what it means, uh, your hero is gonna start losing hero HP every turn, I think something like 500 every turn, so I have to win the battle before turn f like 53 or something, and the enemy has 70,000 hero health, and also batteries are running low. Pretty much standard. Thanks to the Queen Temptress, uh, I also won this battle because uh, re reducing the enemy rage, he couldn't summon his boar on time, which gives me extra time to attack the enemy hero. We're at turn 46. I have to win before 53. And you guys can see how close it's gonna get. Also, this hero, he uh, he uh, mass heal rune is nice, gives me all my creatures attack. Like, now I need every single thing. To help me win this battle. And thanks to the Queen Temptress again. I managed to uh, reduce the enemy rage. So he can summon his boar again. Because once he summons his boar. He's going to have enough uh, uh, rage to summon his boar. So that's it guys. Hope you enjoyed this video. And thanks for watching. I'll catch you guys next time.